Hi everyone, we are Mark and Jennifer Allen with Simply Southern Furniture and we are coming to you from Southern California. We um, recently had our 20 year anniversary and got to go spend a week um, in Anna Maria Island in Florida, which is on the Gulf of Mexico. And we're really inspired by the crystal blue water of the Gulf. So this is that's actually what inspired this piece. So what we're gonna be using today is we're going to be using Annabellum Blue. It's such a pretty blue. This is gonna be for the base of the piece. And then we're gonna be doing some highlights in the Gulf. And we're going to be using Lemonade as well. Um, Mark is actually going to be spraying the base coat of Annabellum Blue and then we'll show you how we do that. But, um, yeah, so let's get started. Okay guys, so I got my spray gun here and I got my Annabellum Blue loaded up in there. So what we use do is uh, kind of on the canister, it will give you the 5, 10, and 15 ounce mark. So I just we just kind of sharpie those, make sure we can see them well. Um, so if you use 10 ounces of paint, we like to thin it out a little bit with water. So if you're using 10 ounces, uh, do 3.5 uh, ounces of water. If you're going 15 ounces of paint, we like to put five ounces of water in there. So this is just a typical plain Jane um, Harbor Freight gun. Uh, we splurged an extra five bucks and got the one with the regulator. So when you have the regulator, we like to set our pressure at about 75 to 80 PSI. And uh, let me show you how it works. So I got my regulator set at 80. And then this dial right here adjusts the fan spray. So I want to have a nice, uh, probably about a 10 to 12 inch fan. So when I do the spray, I want to go all the way across from one corner to the next. And I'm overlapping halfway from my previous coat. And what that's called is a wet edge. That way the paint never dries and it won't leave me a stripe on there. So I don't want to get everything in one coat. So right now I'm just laying on a nice coat, but I'm not worried about if I have any holidays or anything. So in this particular piece, the drawers overlap the, the main body. So I sprayed the main body first with the drawers out, and now I'm going to put the drawers in, and I'm going to coat the drawers. Again, I'm not worrying about the first coat being heavy. I just want to lay some paint on there. We got the first coat on and we're gonna let it tack up. Eh, luckily out here in California, we got awesome weather. So probably about 15, 20 minutes for us. And then I'll apply a second coat and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so we're done spraying outside. And then before bringing it in, Mark gave it a, a light sanding with 400 grit sandpaper and then we cleaned that off. So now we're ready to do our layered finish. And we have some leftover spray mix in the Annabellum Blue. And then we're also gonna be using, like we talked about earlier, the Gulf and Lemonade. So, we also have our um, spray bottle, and this is great because it gives a really fine mist. And if you ever use just a regular spray bottle, it can really change the look of your finish. It could um, really ruin it so i would use a, a spray bottle like this that has a really fine mist and so what we're going to do is we're just going to go over this with a light coat with our brush and what color is that this is antebellum blue this is what we sprayed but this is already watered down because it's left over from the, gun, uh, the spray gun. It's such a pretty color. It's um, a pretty, I would say like a teal color. This is probably one of our most popular blues that um, our customers request a lot. And it doesn't have to be perfect. 
but there we go. So we've got that on there. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little bit of the gulf in really random spots. Some around the edges and some under where that hardware is gonna go. But we're not going around the whole edge maybe a little bit in the middle. So we're gonna work with the two colors right now, and then we're just gonna start blending this out. It's still wet, the paint, but it, but it is drying because Southern California right now is a little bit warm. We are inside. So is it, what paint brush are you using right now? I'm just using a paintbrush. It's just a, a basic paintbrush. It is, I think it's called a Worcester paintbrush and it's just from Home Depot. It, for this finish, it's very, it's a very smooth brush so it, it works well. Okay, so I'm gonna add a little bit of water and if you can see, you don't see what we call like the fish eyes. If you used a heavier um, spray bottle and it came out heavier, it would give like um, almost like dots all over. And this spray bottle does not do that. So I absolutely love it. Super easy to work with. And I could probably pull out the drawer a little bit because we are getting behind there a little bit, but we'll go back and take care of all that. So once we have enough water on there and you can move your paint around, we're just gonna take long strokes. And go from one side to the other. <clears throat> Clean up these edges. And now we'll just go from one side to the other. And if you can see, it's just got a little bit of variation in there. And do a little bit more water. I'm gonna make sure those edges look clean, no clumps of paint, and again, just from one side to the other. All right, so now we're going to add in our second color, which is lemonade. You could use daisy also, that would be a really pretty color. I'm using the same brush. And I'm just gonna add some more highlights. Just random. Okay, now, again, we're gonna make sure we have enough water on there to work with it. Blend that out. Clean up our edges. Just make sure you don't have any clumps of paint. And you can see the variation in the paint in those three colors. Okay, so it's looking a little bit darker or a little bit lighter than I anticipated. So I'm gonna come in 
with a little bit more of that first color. And add just a little bit more depth to it. And then just straight across. And it really does look like the ocean of the Gulf. So pretty when we were there. So there is the first drawer. And it's very subtle. And I just wanna show you how I do, I'll do the other drawers later on, but I just wanna show you how I would do this part down here, cause that's a little bit different. The other drawers are gonna be the same. But I'm gonna add some more of this antebellum blue. Now, because I've already got some of those other colors on my brush, it's gonna start off a little bit lighter and that's okay. You could use a fresh brush if you want. Okay, so now we're gonna add a little bit of that gold. Packing up a little bit, so I'm gonna use a little bit more water. It really depends on the weather. Okay, the weather in your area. So if you notice, when I'm using this, and it's, it's getting on here, but it's not changing the way it looks. If I used a regular spray bottle, I would have had to probably take this drawer out and make sure that that water didn't get on there because it would have left like dots on there almost. A bit more water over here. All right, now we're gonna add some of the yellow. It's just got enough water. Do a little bit more down here. I really want to see the variation in colors. Because I'm loving the way that looks. There, that's what I'm looking for. A little darker over here. This paint blends so nicely. All right, so I'm going to work on the next, the rest of the drawers, but we do it just the exact same way. And then, um, and then we'll show you how to clear coat it. Okay, so now we're gonna go for the clear coat. Clear coat, uh, similar to the paint, we like to thin it out a little bit, uh, not quite as much as the paint. So for every five ounces of clear coat, I'm gonna put one ounce of water. So, same thing, like the paint, I'm gonna start off with a little bit of water in there just to prime it. About five ounces of clear in there. I already have my water measured out. So you just you just do a few drops from that one ounce first, just to make sure there's not a bunch of clear coat in the bottom of the gun. Correct. Mix that up really good, so it'll feel a little thicker than the paint did. Again, 75, 80 PSI for the pressure. First part will still be the water in the gun, so I'm going to get rid of that water, make sure I got my clear coat. And 
So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to start at the bottom and work my way up. Having that wet edge. So I'm going to one pass all the way across and I'm going halfway over my last pass. That way I won't get any stripes. That looks a little cloudy right now, but that will that it'll, that'll go away. It'll absolutely, clear it'll up. dry clear. It is a little deceiving at first, yes. If you remember this piece, the uh, drawers go on top of the base, so I'm going to clear coat the face. And then I'll drop my drawers in and keep going. another two to three coats on. So what I like to do is on the face and the top get three coats at least and then everything else two coats has been sufficient. Yeah and now you can see the variations in those three colors that we used and it really does look like the gulf. It really does have that variation and looks like the ocean and it's yeah I love the way it turned out. Okay so we just finished up this piece and now we're going to finish adding the hardware and we'll take some pictures and we'll show you guys the finished product. Mm -hmm. 